Hey everybody, I'm gonna make this quick. I'm gonna make this quick as easy man. Uh, basically, my freaking amazing girlfriend who enjoys my videos and is very attractive and is actually not make it made up um, sent me a better tutorial idea than all of you, which is very sad. Very, very sad. Uh, I'm, I'm disappointed in you. Anyway, she's amazing and uh, she wanted to know about torrent files and how they work and uh, how to understand them and things like that. And uh, I'm gonna use these coins to help you out. Anyway, uh, basically, a torrent file, torrent files are usually associated with something illegal. Torrents are not illegal. Uh, torrents that link you to illegal content are illegal, but uh, torrent files on themselves are not illegal. Uh, the reason why they're associated with illegality is because they are very hard to track and are usually used in distributing illegal material. <sighs> so, basically when you download a file from the internet, it's being downloaded from stationary servers, which aren't people's computers. They are a mass of computers usually kept in dark rooms and a long story. Anyway, so say you wanted to download a file, you you know, just like a normal file over the internet, you would be downloading it from servers. And the servers will give you the file and it's all simple. Now torrents, well, they're the they're basically the like half step removed bastard child of the server system who, you know, smokes in the alleyways and is very promiscuous. Torrent files work very more complicatedly, or I made no sense in the English language. Anyway, uh, so basically what happens with a torrent file is, let's just pretend, um, it's going to be kind of hard to represent. Okay, so this is the torrent file, and this is Billy, who has the file on his computer, and this is Johnny, who doesn't have the file on his computer. Now, instead of a torrent file being st instead of, okay, take a breath, it's okay, don't have to rush. Torrent files aren't stored, torrent files do not hold the content. They hold content which links you to the content you are downloading. It's very hard to understand, but say this is the torrent file. This torrent file would be associated with Billy's file over here, okay? So whenever somebody would want to download the file, they would be downloading the torrent file, and then the torrent file opening program, such as from Transmission, uh, LimeWire, Kazaa, all those things, would interpret the torrent file and tell you where to download the file from, which would be Billy's computer. As I said, tor as I said, the uh, content which torrent files link you to are not stored on servers, they're stored on computers. In some cases, they're stored on servers, but that's a whole different thing. They're stored on normal, uh, everyday, average Joe's computers. So, uh, then Billy over here just gives whatever people want the file the file. So he's transferring it. That's another word for seeding the file. Now since it's not a server, the upload speed is going to be much slower than a file you download from the internet. So you'd be getting the file at say 16 times less uh, speed that you would normally get files from the internet. Now this is where it gets even more complicated. The minute he start, the minute he stops downloading the file from him and finishes downloading the file, if he doesn't remove that file from his torrents list, they're now both giving the file to who el whoever else wants the file. Now this can get really effed up. Say you had like 20 people who are downloading the file and there's only like two people seeing it. Then it starts working in weird ways. Say um, this person 
had one fourth of the file downloaded and these people had all of the files downloaded. These people would be getting the files from all of these people. So the part of the file that she's downloaded would also be given to them. So it's basically a never ending line of people giving other people the parts of the files that they already have. Because when you're downloading a file from the internet or anywhere, you're not just downloading the file, you're downloading it bit by bit. So, according to how many bits you've downloaded, you're also giving the bits that you've downloaded to people who haven't downloaded as many bits. It's very complicated, but I hope this helped you understand more. So, now, uh, when you're at thepiratebay.com, I mean legaltorrents.com, which is a legitimate website and gives you legal torrents, legaltorrents.com, I don't know if it's still up. LegalTorrents.com. There we go. And, uh, wow. It's not working. Yes, it is. Okay, so we're at LegalTorrents.com. And, uh, say I wanted a graphic novel, which is a legal torrent. A legal torrent. I didn't say illegal torrent. This actually doesn't really... You know what? Screw it. Say you're going on the piratebay.com. This is for educational purposes. I don't, I never, I would never download anything illegally. That is wrong. That is wrong. That's just terrible. And you search for a file. Some of you have noticed that on this side, it has a little thing labeled SE and LE. That stands for Cedars and Leechers. The Cedars are all of the people who are giving the file. And the leechers are all of the people who are taking the file. Now, what you want is the biggest cedar to ratio, cedar to leecher ratio possible. And by biggest, I don't mean like one to zero. I mean like ninety-eight to forty-two. That's a big ratio, because that's a big ratio. What do I mean? Whatever. Uh, basically, you want as many cedars as possible and as little leechers as possible. Anyway, um, on the piratebay.com, if you click the little cedar button, it'll organize all of the torrents that you've searched for um, by whichever ones have the most cedars. Now, there's something you have to remember. Say a torrent file had like 19,000 cedars you would think that that torrent file would be really good to download, but it's not. You always have to look at the amount of leechers, because if it has like 19,000 cedars, but 200 million leechers, that file will download in like years. It will take really long to download that file. So, cedar to leecher ratio is important. Uh, I, hope I, I hope I cleared something up here. Ooh, that is an interesting effect. I like that. I like that a lot. Anyway, uh, you guys, you guys, post me some uh, torrent idea, torrent ideas. Post me some tutorial ideas. I'm sorry, I'm tired. Gosh, stop yelling at me from behind your screens. All right, guys. Uh, you know, chill out. Go outside. Read a book. Read a book. Read a motherfucking book. Great video. Anyway, um. Yeah. Go draw something. Go be creative. Alright, see you guys. Uh, have a good day. Bye.